Hello, it's March 17, 2014, and I want to discuss a theory with you that World War III has been scripted and what we're watching play out on the world stage right now is nothing more than theater with each actor, aka country or entity, playing their part. We're going to start with 2008. If you remember, Barack Obama promised to dismantle the armed forces if he became president. Jump over to 2014, February, Pentagon plans to shrink army to pre-World War II levels. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel plans to shrink the United States Army to its smallest force since before World War II. So we're dismantling our military. But we have Federal agencies being armed with hollow point bullets. We have U.S. Postal Service announcing giant ammo purchases. And we have the IRS loaded up with AR-15s, as you can see by the headlines just shown to you. Now, over at Global Research, we go to the end of last year where they reported the Department of Homeland Security was engaged in a massive covert military buildup. They purchased another 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition, and according to Forbes, that was enough to sustain an Iraq-sized war for over 20 years. But the DHS also acquired heavily armored tanks, which were seen roaming the streets. So basically, we have all the preparations in place to implement martial law. So now, let's go back to Syria when this World War III scenario was supposed to play out originally. Talk of economic collapse had reached a fevered pitch. False flag was staged with the chemical attack which the West, led by the U.S. and Barack Obama, blamed on Syrian President Bashar Assad. But due to alternative media and a multitude of YouTube videos, the general populace became aware of the chemical attack that was conducted not by Assad, but by the very rebels that the Obama administration was arming and supporting. So the American people stood up and said no. Congress refused to give approval for an attack on Assad to push in a new regime change, and it was back to the drawing board for Obama and his puppet masters. Jump forward to now. We have a rinse and repeat operation going on in Ukraine. We funded a coup. We backed a regime, a regime change that overthrows a duly elected pro Moscow president and right on cue, enter Russia who rushes in to protect the Russian speaking population in the Crimea, Crimea region of Ukraine. So threats ensued, sanctions were imposed, the referendum went through, more threats followed by more sanctions. We have our military assets moved into place, US, NATO, Russia, and whoever else is there. The stage is set. All we're waiting for now is one single false flag event that'll spark this scripted World War III. How does it end? Well, a good friend said to me recently that he believes Obama will sign articles of surrender if he hasn't already. Are we just waiting for the final scenes of this play to be acted out? When it happens, the global economy crashes, martial law will be imposed here in America, and those foreign troops on U.S. soil that we've heard so much about in the past well, they're in place, and let's not forget those FEMA camps that were spoken about so frequently. Those will come in very handy for those of us that will refuse to submit to our new rulers. It's a theory, but it fits. It fits because everybody, financial gurus, forecasters, trend forecasters, a number of a number of handicappers. Quite a few people say the economic collapse is here. We're ready for it. They've been staving it off. And what are they staving it off waiting for? To hide it all with a war. So we need a war, actually, or according to the powers that be, we need a war to be able to hide exactly how disastrous this global economic collapse is going to be. It's a theory. Consider it. Thank you.